What's up guys and welcome back once again to Chris Aquariums. Hope you're having a good Saturday. I'm super excited, I'm super keen. It's gonna be a great day today. But before we get into that, how good is this reef tank looking lately? Wow. Now I know we spoke about it a bit in the last video, but everything is looking so great from the live rock to the fish to the corals. Really happy with how this is coming along. I mean, take a look, the blue chromis, the clownfish, the firefish goby, and all the corals are looking great from the gorgonia to the pulsing xenia, the red bubble tip anemone, the mushroom, the sinularia, the kenya tree, the palithoas, the galaxia, the zoanthas, the green star polyps, and the latest edition, the hammer coral, are looking so good. Now you might have noticed something different, which is that I put in a bit of new dry rock just to add to the scape, to add to the dynamism, but most importantly, to add new space for new corals. There's also going to be a piece that we're going to put on the right hand side there, and it'll take a little while to color up like the rest of the rocks, but just more space, more to do, more coral placements. But as you saw from the title, we're about to go somewhere, we're about to get something, so let's get going. <laughs> We are on the way to get a cleaner shrimp, also known as a scarlet skunk cleaner shrimp because of that white stripe that it has down along its back. You probably know it as Jacques from Finding Nemo. <laughs> but a super cool addition to the tank. Uh, contrary to popular belief, they don't actually clean the tank itself that much. They're there to clean the fish, to take off any pests and parasites and keep them healthy, which is super cool to have. But the other aspect is they just bring a new dimension to the tank. Fish are great and they're cool and they're awesome, but um, shrimps just add a bit of movement and a bit of dynamism um, to the ecosystem that you have going on. So I think it's super cool and it's gonna add an extra little eyepiece for the tank. So I'm really excited. Let's get into the store. And here he is. There's a nice shot. I was gonna film a little bit in the store. I usually do, but there was a lady there that was cleaning in front of the tank and I didn't want to be, you know, stepping on the floor while she's trying to clean and things. But uh, irrespective, there's a nice shot of him. <laughs> Super exciting. Let's get him home, start the acclimation process and get him in his new home. Man, exciting. All right, we're back and I know what you're thinking. Yes, I did walk in and set up the camera just to go back out and in again to get the shot. <laughs> But we're home and let's start getting this guy acclimated. Okay, so there's a couple of things we're going to do first. First thing is we're going to switch off the pump and the flow and we're going to feed the fish. Now, I don't think they're going to um, nip at the new shrimp, but it's just so that they're satiated, that they're fed, that they're not really looking for anything to bother, if we put it that way. So let's feed the fish. Alright, the fish are fed. Turn the flow back on. Now we're going to temperature acclimate the bag in the tank. Slowly mix a bit of the tank water with the water in the bag so that he's acclimated. Take about 30 minutes first before we put him in the tank. Let's go. It's been about 30 minutes, maybe about 25, and it's time to get this guy in the tank, I'm gonna get the net, but I have to be very careful because they have very fragile bodies. So slowly, carefully, I'm gonna get this guy in the tank. Okay, he's in the tank and he's doing exactly what I expected and honestly exactly what I wanted, which is he's found a little crevice and he's hiding and getting used to the environment, low stress area. So I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, introduction went quite well. 
I'll pick up the camera again when he's a bit more mobile around the tank, but I'm super happy. Guys are a super cool addition to add to the tank. They're super colorful, super vibrant, and at the same time they have a symbiotic relationship with the fish. If they have any pests or parasites, or even if they get injured and have some uh, dead skin from an old wound, they're there to clean it up, which is super cool. So, very nice addition to the tank, and that's it for today's episode, guys. Thank you for watching once again. Please feel free to like the video, leave a comment if you want to know something more, and share the video with a friend if you're somewhat inclined. Um, thank you guys. I'll see you once again, as always, next time on Chris Aquarium's Cheers.